Hey, Lee, what's up, man? It's X-Pac. Uh, thank you so much for your request, man. And uh, thank you again for your patience with this. I like to make sure these things uh, are just right. Uh, well, it's just right as they can be anyways. And when I'm doing them. I like to be in my studio. And since you're an NWO fan for life, I thought I would put on my NWO t-shirt. And uh, uh, I see you just watch an old WCW TV show for the first time since you were a kid. And, you know, how it gave you those nostalgic feelings. And I still like to do that, watch old wrestling from when I was a kid. And like some of it, I can still even see myself in the front row and some of the shows. And because I used to go to a lot of those when I was a kid. And yeah, it's really cool, man. And uh, as far as like my best times in WCW, wow, there were so many, man, because you're traveling down the road with your, with your best friends and, you know, performing in front of all those people, man, and the adrenaline rush. And, you know, just thinking about, you know, when we would do nitros and then we would go back after, after rocking it, uh, we would go back to the hotel, you know, maybe clean up and go down to the lobby, to the bar, the lobby, the hotel, and they'd have the replay of nitro on and like everybody be gathered down watching the replay and, you know, putting ourselves over. And, uh, you know, then we'd go back up to the Hulk's room sometimes and he'd have a tub of beers and it would be the Luchadors, Scott, Kev, me, Macho Man, Randy Savage, Big Show. And, uh, just have a great time, man. It was, they were, those were, those were amazing memories and I always cherish them. And, uh, you know, as far as like bad times, the only bad time I can really think of was when I when I broke my neck and I was trying to get a raise. So I kept working through, like I didn't want to let on to how bad things were because, you know, when you're out with a broken neck, it's hard to get a raise. So there's that. And uh, as far as like shit that I got hit with uh, from fans throwing shit in the ring, man, the time that we were in Sturgis for Hog Wild. And we were all in the ring. I can't remember exactly. I do, you know, one of those NWO segments where we're all in the fucking ring. And all of a sudden, I get hit in the back of the head, man. It felt like somebody came in and clubbed me from behind. I didn't go down, but I, I almost did. And it turned out to be a big old jug of Gatorade. Somebody had thrown through the air and it hit me in the back of the head, man. Uh it might not sound like a big deal, but if you ever get hit in the back of the fucking head with a big old jug of Gatorade, you'll know what I mean. So there's that. Um, anyways, man, thanks again, Lee. I appreciate uh, all your support and, you know, being a big time fan. And when all this COVID bullshit is over, I will be coming back to the UK. And I hope I get to meet you then, man. And until then, I hope you have a fantastic holidays uh and take care of yourself lee